today we're going to do a tutorial on GIMP and how to cut out a mapped house um, using GIMP. So first we need to pick out a map. I randomly pick one out of Facebook um, off one of the sites I belong to or subscribe to or whatever. Um, this particular map, let's see, let's check out the size. 960 by 435. Let's change that to 1920 by 1080. Just so I can uh, see it better. And we're going to check the image size that we made through PhotoLeap. Um, this is an image created through PhotoLeap. It's a facade. So we're going to go to image and resize it's 1920 by 870 so we got a match the resolution the same size as the mapped house so all right we've got our two images now they're both the same resolution oh by the way i used uh x in view classic up here, this is a, a photo editor I use. Uh, I don't know, I chose this one for some reason back in the day when I I needed an editor and I pretty much kept it. So I use it quite a bit. So let's open our GIMP. This particular GIMP, yeah, I think it's the latest version. Um, all right, so then once GIMP is open, we want to drag our files that we created. Where are they? Here they are. Let's move them over a bit. All right. The first one we're going to drag in is our map. And the second image we want to drag below the map in this space here. Not, not over in this image. We want to make sure it's underneath our map image for now. Okay. So then. We want to swap them out. We want to switch them so that the photo leap image that we chose it for the facade is on top. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the top here and we're going to choose. We got to make sure this is highlighted, not this one, this one. We're going to go over to layer and we want to choose transparency and alpha channel. We want to add it to the background. All right. Adding an alpha channel makes it transparent. There's a transparent background underneath this image. So what we're going to do now then that we have a transparent is turn down the opacity. All right. Where are we? Here we go. And we want to just kind of Let's go back up just enough where we can see the, the drawn map image here. We just kind of want to verify that the windows and everything matches before we do this. Make sure it matches up pretty decent. If it doesn't, you have to check the uh, aspect ratio. Make sure they're both matching, like I said. Um, but yeah, it looks like it lines up pretty well. The windows, the outer perimeter, the A-frame of the house looks good. Everything looks good, so we're going to just turn this all the way down to zero. So just our map is showing. And we're going to go all the way to the to the left here and select the free select tool. Now this will make sure, I'm going to turn this up to 100. Make it a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Because it's uh, smaller here. So we're going to start at the corner of the house. You can see the line and we're just going to go all these black lines the perimeter of the house around the bottom pull it over go to the corner and you can take your time as much as you want you can actually make it bigger and you can make the lines like precise like right in the black um, this is just being quick. And this is a quick way of cutting out a facade for your house to project on. 
and you just need an SD card or a thumb drive through a media player. Hopefully you got a media player so you can play uh, the photos, not the video, you have to go through the photo part and uh, select it through there. And then your facade should play on your house. So here's your last line you want to connect to your first one you did. And then you connect them and you should see little, they call these ants, around the whole perimeter of your house. Let me go back to normal here. And what we want to do next is we want to remove the background, not the house itself, because right now the house is selected. So we want to cut out the background. So we have to invert. Um, we want to go to invert right here. I think it's control I or we're going to click it here, invert. After you've inverted it, now you see the line is on the outside around the whole edge of the background. And then we want to go to edit and we want to cut the background out. You say, well, it didn't look like we did anything. Well, we want to turn up opacity. And now we just have the image of the house with our mapped in our mapped out background in the back, but we can turn that off by clicking that. And now we just have the transparency of the house with the background transparent. And uh, next we want to save it so we can project it onto the house. So how do we do that? We go to file. So we're not going to save as we're going to go to export as so we click that. And we're going to change the name. We're just going to call this house dot png. So you want it to rename instead of JPEG to a PNG file. Okay. Once you've done that, you go to export right down here. And it's going to verify it. Yes, export image as a PNG. So we hit yes, and it's going to save it to my desktop. That's where I have it saved. All right, so then we're going to just minimize this window. Go over to my desktop, drag it over here next to GIMP. We're just going to open it up and see what it looks like. And there it is. Now you can take this image, put it on an SD card or thumb drive, put it in your projector, under the photos, and it should project onto your house. Just make sure the resolution matches the picture that you're working with, whatever image it is, so that uh, it projects the right image on the house. Uh, I'm not sure what projectors, I mean, there's 1080p, there's 720, and there's variances in between. Um, just make sure whatever you're projecting that when you drew your map, that the image are the same, and you should be fine, you should be good to go. And that is how you project um, using GIMP as an editor to cut out uh, the facade that you're going to use for uh, projecting onto your house. So that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below, I guess, and I'll try to answer it. Uh, I'll try to make other tutorials of how I kind of do um, my shows. You can check out my website. Um, you can see some of the stuff I've done through Atmos and uh, special effects, green screen and stuff like that. Um, I like it. It's fun. Um, I hope everybody can at least get a facade on their house by uh, Halloween. And I hope this helps. And until next time, peace.